Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Tuesday, the 21st of December, and these are the charts of the day. We're noticing that a lot of lower price stocks are moving, accelerating, breaking out, etc. Usually a telltale sign that the uh, towards the tail end of every intermediate bull phase, we see that occur. So uh, just a heads up warning that uh, in, the, in the near term, we may start to see stocks spike up, reverse, and then there may be some important, important highs in this zone. Um, a lot of communications, which has been moving steadily in a beautiful rising channel for the last several months, accelerated three days ago as it broke through the nine, nine and a half area with volume and exploded in the last two sessions to get up to 1141, up another 81 cents or 7.6 percent today. With very strong volume, it appears the stock could reach even higher levels. We have a target of uh, 12 and a half, 13 zone, and um, beyond that, around 15. ANX popped earlier in December, breaking out of a beautiful, beautiful coiling base pattern. Pulled back over the last couple of weeks and, and consolidated very nicely on low volume. Look at the low volume ebb here two days ago. Popped yesterday, followed too nicely today, and then backed off towards the close. But I feel the stock has upside momentum and it's broken out and can reach the $4 level. Keep an eye on that for a move up towards that level, that area. Um, AUDC audio codes has been moving nice and steadily higher. It had a, a consolidation in November, popped early December on volume, moving steadily higher. Today jumped another 40 cents or 6.6% on solid volume and appears to be moving uh, higher with a target around seven and a half, perhaps as high as eight, eight and a half. Uh, that's short term. Up next is ENTR and Tropic, which is just in a beautiful long-term rising channel. Uh, the near-term pattern showed a breakout of the coil that it was in for, or wedge it was in for a couple months, steady move up, uh, early December, a pullback in mid-December, and then the last couple sessions broke out of that, has moved up to retest the uh, mid-December high. We're looking for breakthrough and a move up towards um, top of the channel up around 14 as our next trading target. EXEL popped, coiled for about two and a half weeks and then broke out early, about a week and a half ago. The stock has moved up steadily, rising eight of the last nine sessions up another 36 cents or 4% today on 2.1 million and, and it looks to me like it may be headed for lateral price resistance and our next trading target around 12 plus. FTK acting very well and stirring today. You can see the coil that developed here. Um, volume increased today as the stock popped to 465. Now it did back off to 429. It closed up 18 cents, but it, it appears that a move may be beginning. <coughs> Although there's some resistance up around 485.9, 490. Um, looks to me like the trading target should be up around six uh, at the top of the short term channel. Hyperdynamics, HDY, and a beautiful coiling wedging type pattern um, started to break out several sessions ago, hit resistance and reverse, but did not follow through. Snap back the following day, and then the last couple of sessions has moved up even higher. Now it appears it could be headed towards the 585.90 zone. That's our next trading target up at the top of the channel here near lateral price resistance. Um, IDT may have had a significant session today. Reversing from 2586 to 2815, closing at 2793. <coughs> Excuse me, up a dollar twelve. 532,000 shares traded, but more importantly, it appears that it broke out of the seven-day flag and it could be headed up to my next trading target around 34 and a half, 35. And uh, that one looks very promising. IGOI also broke out of a two and a half week flag uh, three or four sessions ago. Then yesterday took out lateral price resistance at the early early December high and it's moved up another 18 cents or 5% today. Now this looks to me like it could be a four and a half dollar stock short term and that's what we'll set as a trading target. KKD which popped and broke out of a base in early December then went sideways for a couple of weeks broke out again today up 52 cents on 1.8 million shares or almost 7%. Uh, the trading targets are nine and a half and then ten and a half uh, maybe a, a forthcoming. LOCM, local.com, uh, acting very well. Popped out of this wedge formation today as volume surged to 3.86 million shares. It got up to seven and a quarter, which was a short-term target of ours. Um, my next target is up at eight and a half and then nine and a quarter. But, uh, and I believe we get there, but uh, the stock did back off late in the session today. It's still up 6%. And um, with volume being the best in about six days, we could very well um, continue this run up and, and get to those targets. MCP, stellar session today, 518 on 9 million shares, 13.3%. Um, a clean breakout across the earlier 
uh, the October high, which was a reversal high, and that's a key level. Once you can get through that level, the stock could run. Now, my target on this right now is in the high 50s. That's a, about a 14-point run from where we are now. Short-term target, however, at around 50. And NBR, a swing trade target of ours, finally broke out of this consolidation range that had it mired for about six weeks. That four days ago, it popped and broke out, pulled back a little bit the next day, and the last couple of sessions has moved forward. Uh, today, up 26 cents um, as volume increased. And uh, although we're at the top of the long-term channel, it appears that this one could accelerate. And I have a trading target now in the 14-15 zone. Up next is SPMD, Super Media, which uh, we've been um, liking for a couple weeks now. Uh, the stock had a dramatic reversal off of a big declining channel, surged, backed off the moving average and trend line, consolidated for three days, broke out and threw it, and then pulled back in a falling wedge type bull formation as volume slowed to an ebb. Today it popped 83 cents or 10.8% as the volume was the heaviest in about five, six sessions. The, the uh, rising channel that's underway here is calling for a move up near 12. Uh, we'll, but let's get to the $10 level at the mid-December high first. SPMD looking good. SPRD, also one of our favorites, and then current swing trade idea. Uh, we had a target at 20. Uh, I'm going to raise that to about 21, the top of the channel here. 20 and 3 quarters, 21 is our target. Um, the, the stock recently broke out of this little coil. Um, and it's popped the last several sessions, acting very well. And um, beyond that $21 target at the top of the channel, we could see this stock long term doing very well and getting into the 30s. To Sarah, big day today. Um, after uh, moving up in September, October, November, it then coiled to the last seven weeks. But today popped $1.45 or 7% on the heaviest volume since early June. In, in signaling a breakout to, to new levels and, and uh, uh, looking for a move that takes us up towards the 20, uh, eventually up towards the 26.7 zone. That's our next trading target. And lastly, today's VNDA Vanda. Vanda had a significant price volume surge of $1.17 or 13% on 610,000 shares today. Looking at the volume pattern, that's the heaviest volume going back to. June, significant because it took out lateral price resistance and the top of the short-term channel. So we could see this accelerate. Um, my next trading target on Vanda is up near the, uh, let's call it 12, 12 and a half zone up here. And that could happen short-term. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, there's some ideas for the rest of the week. The tech trader is closed on uh, Friday and only uh, partially open on Thursday. So um, we'll see one more update tomorrow night uh, for the charts of the day, and then that'll be it until after the holiday. In any case, if we don't talk again, you guys have a wonderful holiday, and I'll uh, be back in touch with you shortly.